Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today with a project featuring Honey Bee stamps and dies. These are really die cutting heavy projects. They are Valentine's themed coffee lovers gift card holders. Honey Bee stamps does some of the very best shaped cards out there innovative designs, amazing cards. I have used both of these card bases before and I thought it would be fun to share some quick and easy Valentine's gift card holders with you today. While I'm going to use mine to put coffee, a local coffee shop's gift card holder or gift cards inside these, you could use these to put any type of gift simply by changing up the sentiment or greeting. I am die cutting the frappe shaped card from a eight and a half by 11 piece of smooth white cardstock. Now this is actually much longer than eight and a half by 11, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little piece from the front part of the card. And that way I can just use the eight and a half by 11 cardstock. If you want that to be a full panel, you can always cut this from some 12 by 12 cardstock if you'd like or pattern paper. But for my purposes today, I want that front part to be clear. Sorry about the shaky camera, you guys. And I want that top part to be clear to look like the lid on a frappe. And so I am going to go ahead and secure that to that little lip of the lid there. And we're going to be covering that with another piece of pattern paper so I didn't worry about the cardstock showing. I adhered the pattern paper I've already die cut to the front of the frappe container. And I'm putting the whipped topping, which I've die cut from glitter cardstock today, inside. I secured the acetate to the front. I'm going to cut the straw in half, also die cut from pattern paper, and I'm going to just back this back to back with that stripe, and then I want to tuck it into our back behind the whipped cream there on the top of the drink. I'm using some glue dots just now down near the base. And there is what that's going to look like. Isn't that so cute? By using pattern paper, it really makes this project go super fast. Two of my very favorite products from Honey Bee are the scalloped hearts, which are brand new from the Brie Mine release, and the stacking hearts, which work hand in hand. I don't know what it is about the shape of this heart, but I think this is probably my very favorite shaped heart, and I love that there are so many sizes of hearts. You will see in the project photos that I have scattered extra hearts around. You can make all kinds of hearts. You could make a heart garland. You could make heart uh, garland slash banner. You could make little heart accents to um, maybe give kids at school to use as Valentine's. They are just phenomenal um, for scrapbook pages, all kinds of home decor, I love them. I am decorating the front of my drink here with one of those, uh, the scalloped heart from white cardstock, the heart from pattern paper, the numbers are the Be Bold Numeric. I use the number 14, of course, uh, for Valentine's Day. And I die cut that from some pattern paper as well, just from my stash. These are all pattern papers I've had forever. In fact, these are all Doodlebug pattern papers. So you can probably find something similar from Doodlebug, if not these exact same designs. And then I adorned the front of my container here with some little acrylic hearts from Honey Bee. Very simple, very easy embellishment. These are really fast gift card holders. Then for the little top piece, the little lid piece that's going to hide the adhesive from the clear acetate that I die cut for the lid of my drink, I die cut this from another piece of pattern paper and I stamped sentiments from the Foxy Sentiments stamp set that read To My Valentine. I stamped that with a clear embossing ink, heat set with white embossing powder, and then I am going to just pop this in place. So the front of my card reads to my Valentine. It's decorated with this beautiful heart, um, heart layers. It's got some little acrylic hearts, got the number 14. 
On the inside of the card, we will finish with additional greetings and something to hold our gift card. Um, Honey Bee does such a great job with the most innovative type of products for these shaped cards, and I love mixing and matching other supplies with them to make them really clever and fun, especially if you're giving gift cards. I think these are just such a fantastic little way to give a gift card and so super cute. I would love to get one something like this. So um, I think that anyone you want to give one of these to would love it as well. I did add some extra little clear acrylic hearts uh, next to my stamped sentiment up here. I felt like it just needed a little something. And I know I've mentioned it in previous Honey Bee videos. Huge fan of their embellishments. I'm a big sucker for little teeny tiny embellishments and Honey Bee does some of the very best. Their hearts are incredible and I highly recommend you check them out. I am using a crystal katana to pick up any of my little pieces. I'm using a liquid adhesive. I think I'm using glossy accents today to just pop these down in place. Glossy Accents is going to dry clear, so it's a really safe choice for clear embellishments because you're not going to see any glue back behind it once it's dry. Now on the inside of my card, as I mentioned, it opens from the bottom, so kind of a unique little opening there. I need something to hold my gift card. One of my favorite things from Honey Bee is their gift card pocket. I've done this before. In fact, I will be linking to another video using this particular shaped card at the end of this one if you want additional ideas. It's a birthday themed card uh, with some different ideas for decorating your card itself. But I love this gift card pocket. I die cut it from vellum. I'm just going to use some 1 8 inch score tape to secure the pocket together and then I'm going to hide that adhesive in the same spot and pop this in place. The thing is, is while you get you can see the adhesive, I guess if you're really really looking because this is a vellum pocket, um, once you pop your gift card into this vellum pocket you're not going to see the adhesive. Um, and probably after your recipient takes it out they're not really going to care that, you know, there's a little bit of adhesive there. But by keeping it only along the sides, it really limits taking away from the center part of it, so I don't mind that so much. I am using my bone folder to press that in place really hard on the inside of the card. On my pocket itself, I'm going to add some additional stamping and embossing. I love white embossing on vellum. It's a little hard to see without the gift card in here, and I'm so sorry. I thought I had some extra gift cards. Um, I kind of have a little stash of things like this, and I don't know where I put it. And so I didn't have it for photography today, and I apologize for that. But when you have a gift card in here, you're going to be able to read this a lot better than you can when it's white on white. So I apologize for that. I'm using greetings from the Perfect Blend stamp set. I'm mixing and matching tons of different products from Honey Bee for these cards today. The inside sentiment reads, I love you a latte, which I think is, again, clever, punny, works with the shaped cards so well, works with either this or either of the coffee themed cards. There's actually a large and a small. I'm using the small one for my second card that I'll be sharing in a minute. It tends to be my favorite one but it would work either way. So there's my cute little sentiment which customizes the gift card pocket and then a little pop of color inside. I am using the teeny tiny scalloped heart and stacking heart just like I did for the big one on the front. I did it for a little teeny tiny one right underneath my stamped sentiments inside the card. Isn't that so super cute? I absolutely love this. It works for all kinds of occasions, and I hope this has inspired you to play with some of these products for Valentine's Day as well. For my second card, I am using the small coffee cup. Now, for this one, because it has the little sleeve that goes around the coffee cup, you actually don't have to use a gift card pocket which I love. It's going to hold your gift card inside just by having that sleeve and when you pop it off you can pull, the, the recipient can pull the gift card out. 
Just like the last card, the lid of our coffee cup, I am going to stamp a sentiment. I switched it up and used Hey There Valentine instead of To My Valentine for my coffee cup lid. Again, all my pattern papers are Doodlebug. Um, big Doodlebug pattern paper fan here. I had to get a little creative. There aren't all the separate pieces for the coffee cup card. No worries. I simply die cut the coffee cup card front from both white cardstock and pattern paper and I just trimmed off that little snippet of the pattern paper because I really didn't need it to bend all the way to the back and I did my own layering. And then I am securing the cup lid to the front. Now a little tip, if you want your card lid to stay down secure that with some adhesive otherwise it flips up all the time and it's so irritating so I put a little adhesive and then you can just simply slip that front part of your card because this one also opens from the bottom right underneath that coffee cup lid to secure it for the band on our coffee cup this actually is not going to be secured to the shaped card we're going to put a little piece of score tape or another strong adhesive on the uh, sleeve and secure that and it slides off and on the card. Isn't that so fun? So this is what secures your card and it's gonna hold the gift card inside. Just like our frappe card, I am gonna layer some hearts using the scalloped heart and the stacking heart. And this time, instead of using the numbers, the Be Bold Numeric, we're gonna use Be Bold Alphabet to use the XO to decorate this little heart design. These are really simple, clean, simple, and fast. We are maybe getting to that point where you just need some quick and easy Valentines. These are definitely quick and easy. Little die cutting, some stamping of some sentiments, put it all together and you're done. Pattern paper makes the, them interesting, fun, but you don't have to do any ink blending or stamping of backgrounds or anything like that. Very, very easy. Now, just like my other card, I am going to adorn this with a couple of the Honey Bee little acrylic heart shapes. We're going to go a little bit more minimal on this one simply because it's a little smaller in size, so I'm just using a red and a pink one. And on the inside of our card, we are going to stamp some sentiments, just like we did on the Frappe card. This time though, I'm gonna use some Lawn Fawn Plastic Flamingo ink to stamp directly on the card itself. As I mentioned, we don't need that gift card pocket at all because the sleeve will hold the gift card in this shaped card. So I am not gonna do anything different other than stamping this in a colorful ink to match the pattern papers I'm using. You could mix this up and use a different sentiment if you wanted to. I really like this. I think this sentiment uh, works really nicely for Valentine's Day. It works for a lot of different occasions really, but uh, I really liked it for the other card. It works for either one. And I'm kind of fiddling with this because it really doesn't fit in the small Misty, but I made it fit. So there is that little stamped greeting. Make sure it's stamped nice and clear. One thing I did not share on camera, I don't think, or maybe I am going to share just a little bit. Uh, no, I think I cut off. I did stamp the back of my cards with a little angel policy that reads from my hands to your heart. That's also from Honey Bee Stamps. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these Valentine's themed gift card coffee themed holders featuring Honey Bee Stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring these shaped cards for other types of cards and occasions that you might be interested in. Thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.